them to win. Sometimes you band together real tight in that situation. And if he plays really well, they've got a chance to get that done. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards. On third and one, Jackson. That is caught. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be... They'll try and run for it. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Moss on the give up the middle, shedding through the defense. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. They come up second and 12. Now Richardson. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A new set of downs after a strong pickup. Of football. Apparently, that didn't happen. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Colts are able to answer the early three. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. That one good for 13. As here's a field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. He completes it to Becker. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays. Run yeah, after the game. They got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. They're trying to make amends. And they'll begin by running the option. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And a big turning point here in the second half, Charles, after that play. All you're trying to do is change momentum, flip things around for your team. You're just trying to take the ball away. But how about when you take it away and score? That really changes things. Three at second and 12. Jackson going to run the draw. And it's a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they have the football and will take over at the... From the gun, Jackson. He'll throw complete to Gus Edwards. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's blown. And Jackson throwing once more. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another. And Jackson going to hold on to it. Now the ball comes loose. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turn me, tuck it away, because you've got to take care of the ball. On first down, they start out. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. It's not exactly round and round we go. But I'm looking at the poor defenses, all right? Back-to-back -back possessions, 
<laughs> the ball's turned over. Back-to-back -back plays. I mean, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. On third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. That one good for 24 yards to the 43. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Now loose football. The ball comes out. And he's taken down inside the 30. On the big board as we get set for the fourth. And now Jackson will look to throw it. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Mark Andrews, 29 yards. And the Ravens have taken a fourth quarter lead. The tight end can kind of be that diamond in the rough secret weapon that you have. And right there, they show you why. And it's becoming less of a secret, isn't it, partner? Every game that we do nowadays, the tight end is a featured receiver, not just a blocker, as in the days of old. Richardson looking to throw this. That's going to be caught by Allie Cox. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 34-yard line. Throw his way. Richardson now on second down. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. A down for a 37-yard attempt. Gay's kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So he remains perfect. Three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Meanwhile, Jackson's thrown into the hands of Andrews. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down in the field. Slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also moves to stunt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive. First and 10. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. They'll run up the gap with Dobbins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formations. In the final stages. Tucker's kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that was a... Here's Richardson. Completes it to Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first come up. First and ten here. Richardson to throw it. And he can't get a throw. He's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. This to tie things up in the final minute. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. But we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, double return. Kicker Matt Gay. This to win it in overtime. And he missed it. It's no good. And we will play on here in overtime. Oh, that's so deflating, Brandon, because you know he was thinking to himself, just give me a shot. Just put us in a position to win the game, and I'll get it done. To throw Huntley. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down. Now a 
handoff for Dobbins. And oh, caught it up. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security and in overtime so paramount. Partner, do you ever wonder if maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. Doesn't seem like you can, but in maybe. Time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Dio Odangbo in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Protect him. Huntley. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now he's loose. Got the left sideline. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. And the game winner in OT. Well, you never know what you're going to expect when you come to the stadium to call the game. Sometimes you get good ones. Sometimes you get bad ones. Sometimes you get great ones. And that's what we had here. What an exciting finish on that last big play. And I think that as we look at it, we're talking about a great finish, which went along with a game that obviously was dramatic because we did get into overtime. What type of play calls do you have left? What have you not shown? Or what have you made an adjustment to what you've worked on all the way through? It's going to give you the play we saw to win the game. Because I know everyone's thinking that that was something that they just drew up. It might have been something they've been working on, and now they got the right matchup.